So maybe in your mind you're wondering what actually took place to the food molecules that I was uh, ingesting. Okay. You understand from the element I can now what begins is your mouth and it ends with the other parts that I'm not going to to be mentioning right now. But what goes on immediately after digestion, it can also happen like a digestion and a respiration can happen concurrently, just depending with uh, what uh, the cellular processes would be requiring at that particular moment. So you will see that um, the fate of the food stuffs that I have ingested in my body after some few hours is going to be needed for the process that is known as respiration, like I alluded to earlier on. You realize that um, food molecules are made up of uh, different um, chemical compounds. You talk of issues such as uh, glucose, you talk of things like, pro, like, like proteins, your vitamins, your carbohydrates and stuff like that, all those different um, food stuffs that will end up in your body. But now the question is, um, as far as um, um, respiration is concerned, what is it that, that is going to be, to be utilized? Like you realize that I was undertaking an activity, I was exercising, that is trainers, those kind of, such kind of activity, what it does is, um, it is energy expanding. I need ATP. So in other words, I'm going to be introducing us to another concept like we're going to be asking questions such as, uh, like last time we're covering the issue of photosynthesis, one of the things that we did was to try, and to, to try and understand the site of photosynthesis. That is where our photosynthesis takes place. And now what we are doing is uh, we are asking ourselves the vital question that where really does uh, the process of respiration take, take place? You realize that your, um, your respiration takes place in this organ called the mitochondria. So your mitochondria is your powerhouse. That's the powerhouse for yourself. So you realize that your mitochondria are specially concentrated to your muscle tissue for contracting because that's where you need energy. Like when I was running and stuff like that, my muscles were contracting. So you find that there's a lot of mitochondria that is found in my body. So you understand that the mitochondria itself is an organ. Yeah? It's made up of a DNA, um, DNA material and you inherit your mitochondria from your mother so um i'm just trying to remain calm so that i don't get to run off and uh, end up omitting some special details that we need to assimilate before we get in the presentation as it is so you realize that uh, when it comes to respiration respiration has got two pathways uh we talk of um, your aerobic respiration and your anaerobic respiration. So when you speak of um, anaerobic respiration, it is something that happens um, like um, what was happening some few minutes ago. I was uh, doing a strenuous activity. At, at the end of uh, the exercise, you realize that I was gasping for air. Uh, what happened is like when I was running, uh, mitochondria respiration uh, demands um, that is our oxidation of the pyruvate molecules, as we shall get to see. It demands um, supply of oxygen. But now what happens is you begin to exercise. Your, your, your muscle cells, they begin to consume much oxygen. That I, my body cannot take in much of oxygen as is demanded by, my, by the muscles that are contracting. And then what I created in my system is an oxygen depth. In other words, when we consider issues such as combustion, what is happening right now is that my oxygen, my oxygen levels have depleted. So in other words, but I'm still running, I still need energy to be generated. So what is going on is um, um, the system will take a different pathway, and that is known as a, a fermentation, lactic fermentation. So this is happening in the absence of oxygen. So in other words, what is happening is um, you understand that... Uh, glycolysis um, has got various steps that we shall get to cover but the, uh, at the end of gly glycolysis what you have is a pyruvate mo molecule that pyruvate molecule is supposed to enter into the Krebs cycle where you encounter your electron transport chain we shall get to cover that but for now we want to understand what happens to the what is the fate of the pyruvate um, molecule in the absence of um, in the absence of um, oxygen. So what is going to happen is um, my system is going to 
produce um, this, um, what is known as the NAD, uh, DH molecules in my body, in my cell. What, what it's going to do is going to oxidize um, the pyruvate molecule in a bit to, pro to produce ATP that I need for contracting. But now the problem with that is that um, um, the problem with that process is that what is going to be formed is lactic acid and is toxic. So that's why you realize when at the end of our exercising, we end up cramping, cramping and gasping. Why are you gasping? You're gasping because you've created in your body some oxygen depth and you need to find ways of um, clearing up the oxygen depth that you are now um, owing so as to go to the normal um, uh, pathway of um, respiration, which is known as aerobic respiration.